I just want to make sure that the guy behind me is not someone who's following me. All right, so I'm just going to go through a regular routine when I uh, put my battery in my cell phone. I start out walking, riding, whatever. And within uh, five, ten minutes or something like that, I'll pick up on someone that's on me, following me, tracking me. And then uh, if I take my cell phone and shut the phone off, the camera phone doesn't have any um, 5G technology. It, it has no internet, unless I'm near internet. So I think that's why they have a harder time tracking the camera phone that I'm on now. So what I'll do is I'll turn the other camera, uh, I'm sorry, the other cell phone off if I don't want to be uh, bothered by uh, being tracked. And then what I've been doing is testing to see if they're only tracking me or not and, and family members are just getting followed um, because they cannot find me and what I found is that no that's not the case because even when they know where I am then or at least sometimes when they think they know where I am they um, they put somebody else or sometimes the same person depending on where I am how far away I am from the other subjects and the other subjects know nothing about my YouTube channels. They would never, my family and friends and shit, they don't know nothing about what it is I talk about on there. They don't want to know. I've tried. I've tried. They were some of the first people that I tried showing the system to. And they love living in a comatose zombie state, and that's the way it goes. And I've already dealt with all those issues. But to watch them being followed around, because I know this is all has to do with the YouTube shit. This is all YouTube, PSYOP, CIA fucking drama. And uh, doesn't mean that they won't really get me on something. Because they're sure the hell trying. They're going to set me up on something. And what's the amazing part about it is these videos keep getting deleted. Even I made yesterday, I think, seven, eight videos. Some of them were only two, three minutes long, but they had... The faces real good or the vehicles in some cases of the guys who were tracking me I also had up there a really good video that I'm going to try to redo later today of water leaf, piles of leaves rocks and stones that kind of shit okay so one of the spots that they like to turn around in is that spot right there where that truck just went into. Every time they're tracking me, the, the guy in the little white car does the same thing. So I'm just going to wait and see what he's up to. Yeah, so he's sitting there and he's not getting out of his vehicle. So we'll see what happens. Give it a minute. So again, I just turned the cell phone on about five minutes ago. So what we can do if he doesn't get out of his vehicles, we'll just do a little surprise visit. This is the benefit of being on foot. Whenever you're watching the watchers. So he still hasn't gotten out of his vehicle. Okay, I'm just going to zoom this in for a minute. 
and then I can get right on them. Even in the right light, yeah, there he is. Yep, that white pickup truck right there, he's gonna be our guy for the morning. So far, I think so. I think so. He's still in his vehicle, he hasn't gotten out yet. You know, it could be waiting for somebody, it could be totally innocent. Could be nothing, but we'll see. See if he looks over here and notices me. Okay. So what happens is if I don't get back to upload these videos fast enough, they'll get deleted anyway. They have, I don't know, scrambling equipment or something. But they can probably just do a drive-by my wherever I am with this camera, I'm assuming. And then just scramble all the videos. So as I'm trying to upload them, they don't upload. And I got to reset the camera and all that. Um, you know, one out of seven, one out of ten. And they make it to an upload. It's kind of weird. Still sitting in his truck. He hasn't gotten out yet. So, I don't waste too much time. Let's see who else shows up. He might trade off with somebody else now. We'll see. Let's go for a little ride, I guess.
brakes on this bike, I'll be stick. Pretty sure this is my guy here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not. I'll have to go look. I'll have to look at the video. His didn't sound that loud when he parked. Yeah, so I'm sure that that white truck was the, was the one. I'm I'm sure that it was. I'm gonna go back to double check, but it sure looked like the one.
guess I could do this while I'm going around town. I don't have a filter on the camera like I did yesterday, but it's okay. I can put one on when I remaster, when I remaster this, but this is just the side of a hill. I've done this over the years, this exact hill. Winter time, it's nice to do too. Um, and what I'm going to do is look around in there. What we're going to do is digitally collect the electromagnetic nanocarbon that's all around us. Okay, see all the faces in there? Feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast over and over and over and over again. Well, you will. I'll add some contrast for you. A little bit of red filter. And you'll see them all. I'm looking at them all now. It's amazing. It always amazes me. Now, I like doing this particular hill a lot because it doesn't get mowed. It doesn't get cut down. So, in other words, the less human influence that it receives, the more I like it. So, it's just the side of a hill. And the imagery is banging because we live in an electromagnetic nanocarbon system. The true creators, builders, the triangular builders that are all around us, building us everything in what we would know as the images of feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. Over and over and over again, everything in here is built using these images to build with. That's why I can go from the side of a mountain to a running river like I'm going to go do later today if they don't delete these videos on me. Now that I got the dude in the truck on camera, they probably are going to delete these videos before I can even upload them. Um, bushes. Okay, uh, that's one of the things I was trying to say the other day when I was talking about this was that um, lights and shadows, lights and shadows, lights and shadows, right? So if I got lights and shadows, lights and shadows, I can go into these trees and I can extract the imagery from these trees. It's easy. See all the faces, even with my hand shaking. Pause the video, take your, take your camera out of your pocket, use it as a viewing device, and look around in here at all these faces. Now I'm only running this in one direction right now. When I get it to the computer and my phone's locked, I'll lock the swivel out on my phone and I'll get them for you in every direction because the true creator does not care about up, down, left, right, backward, forward, in and out. Does not care, doesn't see it. Not till you get to the false creator do you, do you see any appreciation for up, down, left, right, backward, forward because the false creator's entire, false creator slash creator, I, I usually like to call him. Um, he's responsible for everything that is bio and also um, uh, everything that's been divided because the true creator's work is all one and when you get over to the false creator slash creator's work his entire build is based on division so therefore you'll start to see <coughs> division in math <coughs> there's no math in the true creator's work it's all one Zero and infinity are bullshit. Human construct based on human influence. Non-reality. We call it reality and we call it science and both of those terms are, are worth a shit to me now.
So now, depending if they're if they're working with someone else and they have relief, so that the same vehicle don't keep getting spotted, that might be a possibility. They do that a lot. Not usually for the morning shift, um, but for the afternoon shift, they definitely have more than one one car, one guy working with them. It's a real waste of my fucking time. As a matter of fact, I should probably. I wish I would have brought some filters with me. Should just do that for a little while. Digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon from the cloud level. Yeah, so the white truck's not sticking with me. I, I don't see him anywhere. I see there's a, a white pickup about a half mile up, but I don't think it was him. He just came out of that lot, but I don't think he looked too small of a truck. So, so he only had me for about an hour, and then now I'm gonna be passed out to someone else for a little while, or maybe not even for a couple hours. Anymore. The next shift will come in around 11, 12 o'clock, and then it'll be two of them all afternoon. Until after four, sometime after four, and then stick them out again. Maybe around seven, eight, and then no matter what happens by nine, nine thirty they go away. It seems to be the regular routine for all this over the last three to four weeks minimum. Been followed and tracked for a lot of years, but nothing like this. I'm gonna put a camera back down because I just saw something that uh, I would have got on camera if the camera was down. <laughs> 